I actually snuck in my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> where Ayu and I were the only Ooh. occupants. Scale from 1 to 10, mm -hmm. how important are visuals? Oh, do you have to pay back the money? Do they really wait check you every month? And they in front do. of everyone? They do. Yes. And he's like, okay, Coco's fat. They were like, thank her. Right? Yeah. So they were letting all the insane posts. Yeah. We all had to sign a thing where oh, we won't talk bad about the company. I don't want to say that. I, I, may, I might be breaking everyone's fantasy, but all of your favorite idols, they're dating. They're dating. <laughs> each other if you knew everything then that you know now when would you have quit oh mm -hmm. if if i knew that i would never debut i would have quit the second that i knew oh like if it was for sure mm. that i would never never debut right then I would have quit. But if the things that I know are limited to all the bad stuff in the industry, mm. all the competition, all the toughness, mm. if it was just that, I wouldn't have quit. It's, I only kept going because I always thought there was a little bit of hope, mm -hmm. like a light of hope. Yeah. But then I really stopped after finally realizing it's not just the effort that I can put in, it's mm. other factors. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and this was a question. <clears throat> Does money or your social rank play a role in whether you debut or not? Oh. As far as I know, not at all. Some people <sighs> in really small companies, if the company doesn't have any money and your uh -huh. family has a lot of money, sometimes the family puts up the money, but that, that is not forced at all. Yeah, right. It's right. like mm -hmm. the artist's choice to yes. debut him or herself. What else? What else? On a scale from 1 to 10, mm -hmm. how important are visuals? 10. Oh my god! Yeah. Really? Ten. But it's mm -hmm. not about being like a perfect, pretty, handsome face. Mm. It's about having the visual that the company's looking for. Mm. If they really want like a, I don't know. Oh yeah. Oh, if, they, if they're going for a tomboy look, if they're mm. going for like a really unique look, mm -hmm. it depends on what the companies are looking for. They're mm -hmm. not looking for the cookie cutter yeah. perfection face. face it, yeah. I'm not talking about that visual. Thank yes, you black so, box. Yeah. <laughs> Her black box is working <laughs> perfectly. Perfectly at the moment. So when I say visuals matter mm -hmm. means like how you fit if if it's a group, how yeah. you fit with the other members. Yeah what the what the concept of the mm -hmm. album is so yeah and if they want that cookie cutter face they can always like put you guys yeah you know, yeah but yeah like, a lot of people were asking like audition tips i think everyone that speaks english mm -hmm. has a little bit of a more upper hand because ah. all the groups they all wanted like an english speaking member mm. even today like i feel like language really matters because they want to form a group that can go global they always kind of gave me like a little bit of more credit Mm. for being able to speak English. Oh, but, oh, but, oh. So during like an audition, I would always peel that. Yeah. So I would always speak in English like, Hello, my name is Coco. Mm. And then I'd say, like, mm -hmm. I would say both languages. Mm. Or if they're forward. training really young mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. they make you learn. Yeah, they put you into studies. But smaller companies, they might not be able to do that. They might not have the money to, or like they might not have the resources to. Mm the sm really small company that we were in i chose to be in that company because they seem to have a lot of resources oh, okay. we remember we received yeah. chinese lessons oh so we, yeah. we did and we that's when i lessons. learned that i have no talent for in language chinese really <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh -huh. so that company was small but it, it had the was resources. a very good stepping stone mm -hmm. that i was able to learn a lot from different companies have their own training like Way. I know that everything is competition, but do they sabotage? Like, sabotage? Is a routine just literally just let you sleep three hours by day and cannot study at school? You want to know if the companies overtrain the trainee oh. so that you get no sleep and you can't study? That wasn't the case for me at all. Uh -huh. I would get proper training mm -hmm. and my day was filled like 24 hours. In a very good fixed schedule. Yeah, uh. but they also really wanted me to focus Rest. on school. Oh really? Yeah. That's good. I mean, because you're from a prestigious school. No, like so usually, of course they want you. To no, like even when I was in middle school, when I was in JIP, mm -hmm. I had to turn in my school report oh, every right. semester. That's good. Yeah. Tying you down. Mm -hmm. oh. So there are, but I think it, again, it depends on the companies. Yeah, Some right, right. companies very... doesn't really care if you go into a good school or your grades are good. They don't care because mm. it's it's your so life, true. and they should. They're not your parents, or they're not 
you. So you some should be able to take yeah, care of some yourself. Some companies were like, if you're not fully in mm -hmm. and you're not like giving up everything for this, mm -hmm. then we don't want you. Mm. That's actually something that I heard. Okay. So be committed to yeah, this. Yeah, if you're not that committed, then we don't want you. But I, I, some other companies, they actually prefer that their trainees focus on something other than music Ooh. in case that they drop them. Oh. They're like, we can't be responsible for your whole life. Right, right, right. So go to school in case That's we don't really good company. Yeah, keep yeah. you. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. There was one question I really want to answer but I didn't screenshot. Was okay. There was a question where do they really weight check you every month and they in front do. of everyone? They do. Yes. They that, <sighs> that is why I am still... Mm -hmm. Probably to my dying day, mm -hmm. obsessed with every calorie intake. Oh my god, true. that happens. I it's just it's the like mm -hmm. engraved in my brain. Mm -hmm. So even if I tell my, I have to tell myself mm -hmm. it's okay mm -hmm. to finish this whole bowl of noodles. I can have pasta mm -hmm. at eight p.m. I need mm -hmm. to tell myself before mm -hmm. wanting to hate oh. myself for it. Cause oh. yeah, weight issue mm -hmm. is big. Big. Only did I tell you, I got cut from one of the companies because I wasn't able to lose two pounds. Okay, that's not right. Mm. And I was shamed in front of everyone. That is Because, really okay, nice. so the team mm -hmm. one of the team Jangnim came down and he's like, okay, Coco's fat. He calls me Tweji. He calls me fat in front of everyone, right? It's like, Coco, you're Tweji. If you don't lose two pounds by tomorrow, then I'm going to cut you. So I was like, okay, team Jangnim, I got this. I could do it. Right? I told him, I was like, I'm gonna do it. And so that whole night, like from 12 a.m. to like the next morning, I, I researched everything that I can do to lose two pounds. Yeah. So like one of the things that wrestlers do is they spit. They spit, yeah. Only I did that for eight hours and nothing would come out. Mm. Like that's how much I spat. Mm -hmm. And then in the morning, I went to like the spa. Like apparently you can like take out more water. So yeah, I didn't all dehydration. Anything, all dehydration. So I got it. So in next morning, 8 a.m., I went to the dance practice studio and mm -hmm. then I went on the scale in front of everyone. They're like, oh my god, Coco, you made it, right? I was like, hallelujah! So I had witness. I had like all my teachers there, all my like trainee, training like people there. And then I was like, oh my god, it's good. So I drank water. <laughs> okay. And then but the this was after, after you had witnesses. Yes. So. But then, because I was like so dizzy. Like mm -hmm. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't think straight. I couldn't walk straight. I was just so dehydrated drank a cup of water and immediately it went into yeah. like my weight mm -hmm. and then the team Jang Yin came down after like three hours okay he's like hey Coco get on the scale I was like shit I drank water mm -hmm. right I went up and then immediately I don't know I don't know how much water I drank but immediately that two pounds was back up mm -hmm. so I was like shit and I was like but in the morning and he's like you're out he didn't even listen to, to any of your yeah and he was like you're out Pack your bags. And no one else could say a word either. Right. It's like they're all just like silent. Mm -hmm. So yeah, weight issues. I hear it mm. all the time from a lot of... Here's the thing. Many mm. celebrities mm -hmm. who are known for having a really healthy lifestyle, mm -hmm. they have eating disorder. And the public thinks of them as, oh, she's like naturally thin. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. on TV or wherever mm -hmm. they appear to like be working out mm -hmm. and blah 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 but it's in many cases that's not true mm -hmm. some people are blessed naturally yeah with so an jealous. unbelievable metabolism that they can eat anything and, and will not gain, gain a pound weight. yeah i am not one of those i people. heard i heard blackpink has that all lucky of the members them. have that lucky they're so them. lucky yeah yeah but yeah that's not the case for a lot of people mm -hmm. And yeah, weight issue is a big mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. I actually gained, after that company, I think I gained like 12 pounds. Mm -hmm. I was like very overweight, like the most heaviest I've been mm. all my life because I stress it. Yeah. I just gained so much. I had stretch marks. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> just a funny thing that we used to do as a group. The members, the Tanjangnim would check our weight every single day. Mm -hmm. We would write it on like a public board yeah. where everyone could see, right? Uh -huh. But then sometimes he comes in to actually see the scale. Yeah, dude, it's so funny. <laughs> we found out some tricks that we can do in uh, front of the Tanjangnim. Yes, we would. Okay, one girl would go on the scale, right? And then he would look down at the scale. Right. So like one of the members would be like, "Dude, I ate something yesterday. Mm -hmm. Can you please help me out?" We'd be like, "Oh, we got you." What we would do is in the back. We would hold, <laughs> like this, slightly pull it up, 
and I and it swear makes it you, makes you. Yeah, it makes you lighter. It's so funny. Uh huh. So funny. We used to do that in the back. Like he's watching the scale. Like. <laughs> <laughs> well, compared to my training days, I've gained like five kilograms. Mm. I am like mentally, I am a lot healthier. Oh right, of oh. course. Yeah. Because if you're mm -hmm. if you're underweight, which you have to be, mm. you can't think straight. You're you always in a bad yeah. mood. <laughs> always in a bad You're mood. You're very Angry. sensitive about everything. And it's and a science thing, man. Yeah, like, it's a science thing. <laughs> actually a science thing. Were you ever in a dorm, Anni? Did yeah. you ever? Oh, okay. There was yeah. a lot of questions about dorms too. Oh, really? Okay, so I actually snuck in my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this like a confession video now? Okay. <laughs> so I know that that's very possible yeah and it's yeah it's not at all difficult <laughs> not at all difficult but i was using my own room i used to sneak out all the time with my members <laughs> okay so one of the tricks that we would do is we would take turns like sneaking out right uh. we, when we finished showering we would like use the hair dryer. hair dryer right someone would stand right in front of the manager's room uh -huh. and <laughs> try you okay, to why? To distract to make her? noise? Ah. Because when you're leaving the sukso, yeah. you know how the, the door makes sounds? Yep. Da -da -da, mm. da -da -da, right? So somebody was just <laughs> drying their hair in front of the door mm -hmm. and then I would sneak out. I actually have two two cases of living in oh, the dorms. dorm. Okay. Yeah, one of them was when I was in the group. Oh, oh my And like oh. four of us were living together oh with God. two managers both two managers women. yeah so it was a really big big apartment big big house mm -hmm. yeah that was okay it was okay yeah it was okay we're fine oh, yeah okay good and then there was one time where iu and i were the Ooh. only occupants wow. of like a <gasps> that's freaking awesome. big penthouse that's awesome yeah so she had she had her room i had my room there was a big kitchen big living room which was used because we were always in yonsepshi we were always Ooh, in the practicing right. room so True. we only used it to like sleep sleep yeah. like three four hours a day mm. and yeah so there was nothing particular or dramatic mm. about my dorm life mm -hmm. but i've heard stories so yeah, <laughs> you never had to sneak out oh. i i was always the like the goody goody of, oh the, God, really? of the bunch Man, now i look so bad on you <laughs> i look so bad <laughs> okay let's see oh. oh do you have to pay back the money oh yes you do you did no but like i didn't Here's the thing. If you are a trainee and they uh -huh. let you go, yeah, you don't have fine. to pay it back. Uh huh. If, but you, if you voluntarily say, I want to leave, then, you then either you, you sign a contract saying yeah. that you will never work in the K-pop business. Because yeah. so it could be that you are saying, that, oh, I want to quit because, you know, I have issues when you've already talked to the other companies and yeah. signed a deal. So to prevent that, if you want to mm -hmm. leave after using up all the company resources, mm -hmm. they make mm -hmm. you sign a contract saying that you will not go to any other competition. Mm -hmm. You're just leaving company. because, right, yeah. you're just leaving because this is not your dream yeah. and that's okay and then go. So then in that case, you don't have to pay. Yeah. But if you are voluntarily leaving mm -hmm. when there's no issues mm -hmm. and there's a potential company a possibly, that wants yeah, you. that wants you or you want to go somewhere, then you have to pay back yeah. everything that you used. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was always when the companies couldn't pull through my mm -hmm. album. Mm -hmm. So when I was leaving, they were right. like, we're so sorry. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you that. You can go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I never had to pay anything. But there were a lot of people who wanted to leave, mm -hmm. who had to pay to leave. You know how they were like, they were bankrupt, right? Yeah. So they were letting all the young things go. Yeah. We all had to sign a thing where like, oh, we won't talk bad about the company <gasps> oh, or whatever. Really? Yeah, we signed it. But then the funny thing is, when I got into a new company, when I got into Core Contents, uh -huh. MBK right now, M Plus came to that company mm -hmm. to say like, oh, you took one of our trainees. You gotta when pay they, when for When they released her. you. Yeah. They're like, you gotta pay for like, whatever, like, Pete she had, her mm -hmm. debt. Was but like, there was paperwork the saying yeah, that they yeah, let yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah, So that one of the managers came to me and asked, like, did you sign something? I was like, yeah, like, we signed something that, like, like an NDA yeah. that we're not going to talk about at the company and that's it. Yeah. And they're like, oh, really? You know, CCM at that time was a very good, very big company. They mm -hmm. had, like, Tiara going and everything. So, like, they took care of it. But I thought that was, like, so shady that the company what would, like... With them? I think because they just, like, suddenly got bankrupt. They, they just were, like, wanted to really try needed. at anything that they could get any money out yeah. of anywhere. Yeah. This, like, distantly remember the CEO. Mm -hmm. He kind of... I think he messaged me, like, a few years ago. He's like, oh, I found you through somebody, somebody. I'm like, I'm <gasps> still really, really sorry. I'm the like, younger guy? Or the older guy? 
the younger. I'd never, I'd never oh, met the okay. older guy. Oh, but okay. the yeah, I'm really, really sorry. I wanted to apologize. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, don't talk to me. Uh, yeah. There are many questions about the training system. Mm. I am making a video on that Ooh, soon. Okay. Okay. You can do that yeah. on Gina's channel. Whatever what to her else? channel. And subscribe. Oh, do they have a dating ban? Yes. <laughs> that's why I was sneaking out and sneaking in my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> it's different for every company, but most of them yeah. do have yeah. a dating ban or they don't like it if you have a boyfriend. Mm, mm, mm. They're not gonna. Oh, great! That's great for you. You have a boyfriend. Then nobody's yeah, gonna be like yeah, that. Yeah. But no, a lot of my friends got cut from companies because they found out that mm, they have boyfriends okay. or like they were dating within the company. Uh -huh. They kicked both of them out yeah. or like kicked just one person out. Yeah, yeah. There was a lot of that going on. Mm -hmm. When I was training. Okay. Yeah. But everyone dates. Okay. Like everyone. They see. Like it's just a matter of how well you hide it. Yeah. I swear like. I don't want to say that. I, don't, I, may, I might be breaking everyone's fantasies. But all of your favorite idols. They're dating. They're dating. <laughs> each other. <laughs> oh my god. They, they are. Uh huh. And then with other members yeah. of the same group. But. To be fair, mm. that's the only company you have. That's mm. the world that they live in. Yeah. We need to charge your camera. Yeah, I have a charger here. Okay. So. Okay, so we're back. The most questions that I think we received was about audition tests. Oh yes. So if you want like a more detailed, uh, you know, video, then Gina actually uploaded a video yeah, regarding that, it. right? Yep. Yeah. It's here. She here? put in a card. Right here. <laughs> yes, yes. I'll link it here. Yeah. Some of the things that I didn't say in the video, yeah. we will cover right now, very yep. quickly. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about like fashion clothes. clothes. Apparently, companies really like very comfortable clothes, like yeah. sweats. Yeah. I guess they want like a blank, like blank a student canvas. look. Yeah, student look. Yeah. Student innocent look. Yes. So like a hoodie, mm -hmm. sweat sweatpants, yep. or like a cute be beanie. Yep. I think that's like the look that they like yes. because they're like, oh, we could see her looking better yes. in other clothes. Like they want to be able to picture mm -hmm. you in different styles. So mm -hmm. if you have too much of a strong style, right. something that they can't really mold, right. if they feel like your style's too strong, right. they might not want to sign with mm -hmm. you. So. And like just for practical side, they mm -hmm. might want you to dance or just right, walk. Right. Do anything that you can do in more comfortable clothes. Yeah, so, so don't wear heels. Anything tight, yeah. yeah, don't wear heels. Don't wear something too tight. Uh -huh. Something too like skin showing. Right. Because so. you could be dancing yeah. or whatever. Yeah, so, yeah. So yeah, comfortable be clothes comfy. are. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, makeup. Don't be putting on too strong like of makeup. Like fake eyelashes. Yeah, and, mm. you don't want to do that. Because they, they don't really like that. Yeah. Oh, I, I just want to say like be authentic because yeah. some people think that if they want to audition for YG, they gotta. Dress up like way. YG yeah. artist. If you're auditioning for JYP, you gotta act or Be a wear something. Image. Yeah, yeah, nothing like that. Just Be yourself. Yeah. That is a really good tip. I needed that when I was auditioning <laughs> back oh, in the days. And I would sometimes sit in, in auditions mm -hmm. and I would see the judges commenting on like that day's audition. Uh huh. And they're like, everyone's singing the same song. song. We are sick of hearing that this song. That is so song. true. They're dancing all the same choreography. Yeah. And you can do the most popular song and most popular yeah. dances ever if you can do it better than anybody else. else. If you can do like one verse and mm -hmm. you think they're going to be blown away, do that song. Mm -hmm, yeah. But unless it's that, singing the song from mm -hmm. that particular company's number one group mm -hmm. that has been talking yeah. the chart for like the whole year mm -hmm. you have to know that everyone else is singing that song yeah, too yeah. and if you can like wipe them out uh -huh. go ahead mm -hmm. but unless it's that mm -hmm. yeah you don't have to pick a certain song to you know yeah. appeal to that company yeah. and i always want to stress that you should prepare maybe a korean song and an english song yes yeah prepare mm. your options mm -hmm. and the also slow song fast song yeah 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 and then a dance of yes. course what is it chunky jana chunky oh yeah what is that called in like English? anything that you like a talent, your specialty you can, specialty like that you, you can, can speak chinese yeah that. you can rap acrobatics anything yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i always said like oh i did kondo oh, yeah. like kendo yeah they would actually Ask me to yeah do show it them, uh -huh. like, and I didn't have anything on right. me right no stick or anything but yeah. I still did it I was like yeah right? <laughs> <laughs> and they really liked it yeah because I look like such a girly girl girly girl but then they're like hmm 
Oh, panjum mere gita. Leave any more questions that you guys have yes, for us. I, we might have another follow up. We will. I think we will. We will. Yeah. Um, I think um we didn't get to, you know, everything. Right. Everyone's questions, mm. but. That would be like safe for in the next video. And if you guys really want a question answered, like make sure to like spam it down below. Yeah. And we'll get to that. Huh? Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. Is it is this is this it? Anymore? I think so. For today? Yeah. For today. Uh-huh. Yeah. In the next video I wanna talk about how, you know, relationships with managers go. I have, I have to some... speak in that voice. Yes, we do. We will. I have that story I wanna tell you. Remember uh, that story that I Okay. I think they would be more interested in dating tips too. Did you ever date an idol before? No. I actually am going to make a video about that. But for about me... Other people's experiences? Like the dating world. The world, dating Like the relationship. Yeah. But for me, I have never dated an idol, a oh. trainee, manager, producer, nobody in the industry. Uh-huh. Yeah. But you've, you have stories, probably. I do have stories, yeah. but I, I've never dated not even text anybody really yeah because really? i was like set on like from it wow. kind of like me like when i was going into this business i was like i'm gonna be a superstar Whoa. i'm gonna keep my reputation Clean. spotless wow yeah and on like hindsight yeah i didn't have any fun <laughs> like zero fun but i actually preferred it that way so it was okay but mm. yeah well mm. i dated a lot of <laughs> Again, not like, be in another Coco's video. confession time <laughs> part two coming it's soon. It's so crazy because I've never talked about this. No, like you any haven't. of these things <gasps> ever. So okay. I'm gonna spill the tea Yay! for the next video. All right, we'll see you guys in the next Bye. video then. Bye. Love in the air, kissing you sweet. Good morning. Open your mind, open your eyes. Yeah, I'm still right here. Head still laid on the pillow, let the light squeeze through the window. Ain't nobody but you and me and me and you, baby, who tripping? Remember we was last night sipping, girl. You I love, thought I'd never sing it. It might have been the right move, might have been the...